wasn't me. Okay, so I finally got striped together. Pat Dugan never looked cooler. This is, you know, when I, I heard when a lot of people, this, they were announcing this figure that everybody thought it was just going to be kind of a, a steel repaint. And I think the legs might be the same. In fact, uh, oh yeah, he's up there. I tell you what, I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are. As you look at them, they're about the same height, but hopefully you can begin to tell that's kind of where the, the differences uh, end. If you look at the feet, the, the legs look to be similar, but not the same, because you see along the edges, you can kind of see uh, some, this kind of shielding here that st steel doesn't have. Um, the backs of the legs, you can kind of see them. The actual, uh, what would you call this, the calves, they look to be identical, but the feet are vastly different. Okay, let's see. Looking at them from the back, you can tell how different they are there. Then you've got kind of the torsos. The gloves are different. Hands would have to be different because of his Green Lantern ring. All in all, this is a great figure. I, I really <laughs> I really dig this. Let's see if I got Star Girl around here. How did I what did I do with her? Yeah, there we go. That's kind of a neat proportion, don't you think? Very, very cool. I like the paint detailing, and we'll look about this when we look at them close up, but look how the knuckles are painted. You've got the S right there. You've got the S in the middle. This is a very, very cool figure. He's even willing, he's so cool, he's worth buying a lame character like Magog just to get this figure. But let's go ahead and take a look at these guys close up. Okay, let me just say, this is an awesome figure. The styling, the lines, the paint colorations. Uh, I don't know if you can see that up there at the top, and I'm having trouble getting them to where you can. The, the tint of blue, the nice red, that you can see the tint of blue right there. They did a very, very nice job. Love the incandescence of this. Nice sculpting. This is kind of a rubbery piece right here. I don't know if we talked about that. There's the nice gauntlets. Look at the detailing on those hands and the paint. I mean, just very, very nice. Now, he, he can move. The epaulets will move around for him. His head's got a little bit of a movement, but hey, he's in a big mechanical suit. What are we expecting? There you go. He, oh, oh, he's got lots of movement in that leg. Uh, not much hiding of the hip joints here, like we like to see, but hey, it is a very cool figure. Huge feet. <laughs> very, very cool. Nice styling. The back, they did a good job on it. Honestly, this, this, this figure is worthy of purchase and worthy of purchase in a line to get. Just a very, very cool sculpt. Well, there you have it, the JSA themed Wave 19. Hope you've enjoyed this. Make sure you go over to EnchantedToyChest.com and thank them for us. They're a big part of why we can show you some of these marvelous toys. This is Doc Owen with Action Figure Times reminding you, go to the website, aftimes.com, so you can see the pictures up close, as well as take a look at uh, subscribing and getting on our boards, meeting all the great people, because uh, we'd love to talk to you. This is Doc Owen once again reminding you to be extraordinary, and see you next time on AF Times.